Today I'm going to show you the best blitz in Madden 24. That play is going to be Pinch Bucko, and this play can be found in the Multiple D playbook. Or it can be found in the Patriots, or just about any team that runs a 3-4. Or on month, this is going for about 6,000 points. Which I mean, shit, that's a lot for a playbook. But when you're using this blitz, you're going to want to make sure that you have a defensive line with a lot of guys with great block shed, and you're going to want to have fast linebackers. So basically the ingredients for any successful defensive play. But for that reason alone, we're going to rock the Los Angeles chart. And the formation we're going to be using is 3-4 odd. So let's make a couple of our substitutions here. Our middle linebackers, we're going to want to have be our fastest guys, which is part of the reason we chose the Chargers. They have fast linebackers and some guys on the D-line with great block shot and Mac and Bosa. So we got Kenneth Burney as one of our linebackers. We got Eric Kendrick as our other. And then we got Joey Bosa and Cleo Mack on the corners. They're all going to be blitzing in. The guys on that are going to help stop the run if somebody decides to go outside. And the guys running up the middle, we're going to clock that up. It's going to get to the quarterback, or we're going to stop the run up the middle. And then in terms of coach adjustments, the only one that I use since we're really blitzing, if I make any adjustments, I do the zone drop flats, and I just put these to about 10 yards, because really all this is for is just going to be able to stop all the dump off routes and the slants or anything short. QB's not going to have much time to throw, so really we just want to take short stuff away. And then that play, once again, is pinch bug out. We're just going to come out and let the offense run a rain and play. So if you run in stock, you'll see that it still gets a bunch of guys back there, a bunch of guys breaking shed shit like that this play's super easy to set up all you're gonna do is press r1 if you're on the ps5 or whatever it is right trigger if you're on the xbox and you're gonna pinch your d-line which is gonna be down on the left analog stick you'll see everybody comes in then you'll press triangle again and then you'll move the left analog stick to the right that base lines that just make sure everybody is in position this is what the play looks like and then what i like to do is press right on the d-pad down on the right analog stick and it blitzes your linebackers we're just gonna move over kind of make him go up the middle a little bit more this is what this play currently looks like it'll get to the quarterback it clogs up the middle you see there's not much running lanes in the middle especially with the linebackers running in the thing that does stop this play is the runs to the outside so generally what i like to do is i'll press r1 once and then r1 again all of a sudden these linebackers we got bosa and mac they're uncontained, so they're not going to just get cut to the outside for a big game. See what play they run here? It looks, and you see Jesus Christ, we're back there before he can even hand the ball off. This play definitely gets quick pressure, but if it does get blocked, then it does leave a lot of room for people to be open. What a lot of people do if this blitz is getting in quick is they're just going to dump it off to the running back. So you want to get back there as fast as possible. And even on the outside run, with those contains and everything, we got everything in baseline, so they're in the right position. They react quick to the ball. We're actually able to get a good stop. And you see, even stock play, this play gets a lot of pressure. But of course, this play's only going to work a handful of times. So you come out of it two, three times, people are going to know what play you're running. So you're going to have to switch things up at least a little bit. And you see, we get instant pressure. We got three guys back in the backfield get the sack. But eventually, people are going to start catching on. They're going to dump it off to the running back. They're going to run slants. So you're going to want to make adjustments. So I like to kind of set this play up exactly Exactly like I just said, pinch the line, base the line, everybody, and then I'll put one of my linebackers, or this guy, for example, we'll put Cleo Mack, and I'll put him on a little curl flat. So once again, that's going to take away the slants, that's going to help with all the short stuff, and then I'll put somebody like... Cal Hendricks, and I'll put him on a middle third. So he starts to head back a little bit. But then I can still run with this guy. We take away a lot of the short stuff. We take away the deep stuff. And we got the crossing routes. See, there's nothing open. And we are still getting instant pressure back there. So you're going to keep your opponent guessing if you continue to run things like this. Put him in a hard flat. Hard flat's going to stop the running back. But all of a sudden, now we got a bunch of guys out there playing defense. We are still rushing four. But it looks like we're running that same play again where we're rushing seven so all of a sudden we got a bunch of guys back he had his running back open that was a mistake on my part i gotta put the other guy in the curl for hard flat but we're stable to get a pick try that one more time he's got two running backs now so i'm gonna put my ends and i'm gonna put them both on hard flats here so all of a sudden they take that out of the picture we'll put hendrix in the middle third and we're gonna set this play up exactly like it was so I'll pinch that d-line 
We're gonna base line everybody. Then we'll put these guys on hard flats, take away those running backs. We'll put one guy in a middle third. So everybody said, man, we got a lot of plays clock up and we're still rushing five. We can use this middle linebacker too, now we want. If we wanna dip out into coverage or if we wanna actually go on the quarterback. See, it's a run, it's a run. Oh my God, he actually got me with that. He had a lot of room. Outside runs are gonna be what kills this play. But it's not always gonna work. You see Jesus Christ, man. If you run it stock, like if we do it nothing, this play's still effective when it comes to getting pressure on the quarterback. And it's really good, especially when you clog up those running lanes. But one more time, you're gonna press the R1, R the right trigger on Xbox, pinch that D line, and then you're gonna baseline everybody, and then you'll make the adjustments as needed. Oftentimes, if it's somebody like this, where there's a bunch of guys off, I'll press and then press triangle and L1 so that played sticks and everybody just kind of runs back. So this is what the play looks like right now. Everybody's a man coverage. It's gonna be pretty easy to beat, but we get instant pressure if it's a quarterback. We got three people back there. If it's a pass, it's a lot of pressure. But of course, this play's not always gonna work. People are gonna catch on, find ways to beat it. So keep your opponent guessing. That's why we added a lot of those like hard flats, a lot of those hook routes. And another play that I like out this playbook that I have in the back pocket as an audible is this cover four drop. This play works great versus the pass or the run. All I do is press triangle and I show blitz. So it kind of looks like that play that we just ran and I'll press R1 and then pinch the line and everything. So it looks exactly like that bucko, except everybody's going back. And just to kind of help defender run backs, I'll press R triangle down on the right analog stick. So now these guys are in hard flats to take away that running back route or any short routes. Then we use her in the middle, but we kind of play mind games here a little bit. It's great versus the run for whatever reason, especially if we set it up exactly like that play that we just ran. It's very similar to everything. And there's really nothing to go. We are just back there like crazy. But be sure to try both these plays out. Let me know what you think, if it helps you get better at defense. Once again, this is in the multiple D playbook. Just think Riley Reed and the play is pinch bucko and then if you need some help against bass cover four drop subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out